Hey everybody, I'm here to let you know about the exercise that is going to make you start being able to play over chord changes using the modal approach. For me, this was a game changer when I learned it a long time ago. And basically what it is, is the ability to play half notes in time through moving harmony. And it starts with being able to play half notes in time through static harmony. Now, the only thing you're improvising is the direction of your line. And the only rule is that you use the smallest interval possible in the mode to move. Think about it like a game. Half notes obviously is the value of two quarter notes tied together. So if I'm thinking about it in a slow tempo, like one, two, three, four, a half note would be Ba, ba. Now let's think about just the context of A minor. And I'm just going to use A Dorian. So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna use A, B, C. Gonna go back to B, up to C, up to D, up to E, up to F sharp, down to E. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just moving up and down in the mode. Now that's not changes, that's just playing on one chord. That's not a big challenge once you know the mode. Now where does it start becoming challenging? Now I'm going to add another chord to the mix. I'm gonna play A minor and use A Dorian, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And I'm gonna then go to C minor seven and use C Dorian, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat. And I'm gonna alternate between these two chords one measure each. Because they're one measure each, I'm gonna have two notes in each tonality to play around with, right? So starting on A minor, one, two, three, four. I'm adding those bass notes just so you could hear it better. You could just practice the line or set up a loop if it's too intense to think about two things at once, which it probably is. Now, the kind of thinking ahead that you need to do in the improvising and the awareness of time is really what you're gunning for in your own playing. And this is the missing component. If you can do it and it's no problem, maybe you know do it faster, maybe do it through more changes. Now, as I take that same kind of idea through more intense changes, you'll see why this exercise is so crucial and so good. So now I'm going to dial up the difficulty by taking it through a standard. I'm gonna take the first four chords in all of me, and I'll tell you what I'm thinking in terms of the modes, right? So for the first chord, which is C, I'm thinking about a C major scale, C Ionian. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. The second chord, E7, I'm thinking about E mixolydian flat two, flat six. So it's E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, D, E. For the third chord, I'm thinking about A mixolydian flat two, flat six. That chord is A7. And I have A, B flat, C sharp, D, E, F, G, A. And then I'm going to D minor and playing D Dorian, which is D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Now the half note exercises, they're gonna be each two measures in the song all of me. So I have four notes inside each. It's gonna look like this. That's one way to do it. If I start in a different area of the scale. Mm -hmm. 
yet another area. So I'm developing the control to actually see that half note before the change and really see the entire modal structure changing underneath my fingers in time. And that's really the skill that you need to develop. You can use it with two chords, with a vamp, or with an entire form for a jazz tune, but that's the basis. And once you get that under your fingers, things start to get very, very easy because you know how to voice lead using the smallest possible interval to navigate through the harmony. And just by doing it a lot, as you move from chord to chord, if you just keep going up and down, you will end up covering all the options just by going through it mechanically. Very cool. I hope you get something out of this. Subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, ring the bell, join our Patreon. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.